buddy Max from Shop Solar Kits here. I'm with Pete from Microgreen. Um, we're just gonna go over this nice, awesome new product that we found over here. It's kind of an off-grid system in a box, and I'm gonna let Pete uh, take it from here. Hi. What we developed is basically put everything from an off-grid system in a box, and I mean absolutely everything. The box is set up to have all your AC on one side, all your DC on the other side. Yeah. So basically, you keep separation to it. Your four kilowatt inverter inside here at sine wave, your 40 amp charge controller, which will give you a thousand watts of panels. Yeah. You literally mount the box on the wall, connect your batteries to it, and you can turn it on, and you instantly have power out of those two receptacles. Yeah. So then you can start using that power yeah. to put your panels on the roof. Wow. And once the panels are done, you connect them in here, yeah. and basically your system is done. What, it's uh, a half hour install. <laughs> what applications do you see this for? What would this be best this for? This is great think? for small co like cottages or small cottages. It's great for small homes, yeah. even some RVs. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. it's great for a lot, uh, even small houses. If, yeah. the, if, they're, if, if they're heat items, stove and heaters are gas, yeah. they can run a small home. Right? Okay. So, would you be able to run, for instance, like a microwave or a vacuum or anything like that? Well, that's that? the beauty of this thing is you could actually run a uh, a, a vacuum cleaner, a um, microwave, a yeah. toaster, and a water pump all at the same time. Wow. Wow. And that's, why we, that's why we picked the four kilo inverter because whether it's a two kilo inverter or four, the difference in price is so marginal. Yeah. Why not have the power if you want it? Yeah. And not later on say, I wish I got a bigger inverter. For sure. So you have everything in one box that so this, handles this will the just average. Ship when somebody buys this, they just open up the box and this is what they get right Right. Here. There's a nice instructional manual size, 11 pages that we try and explain why you're hooking up what to it. So we yeah. ask you to read through it. Yeah. And afterwards, this thing goes up in minutes. It's so simple. Just a couple of screws. Yeah, right screws in, top right and bottom. Top and bottom, right yeah. onto the wall here. And, 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 the same side. and then like I say, yeah. all you have is these two leads are from the solar panels coming in, yeah. which would be four panels, up to four panels, mm -hmm. hooked together in, in series, and you hook mm -hmm. them up here. Yep. It is a Anderson connector, so you can, yep. this is like a disconnect as well, yeah. even yeah. though we have two breakers for solar, solar in and solar to the controller, to break, we still have breakers as well, but yeah. just so it doesn't, if you're doing something, you can't break off your solar, Absolutely, so you can pull yeah. it out and you put it back in. 100%, and then right here, you just connect your battery yeah. bank right from here. There's a couple covers that go over top of it when you're done. Yeah. We also have two temperature sensors. Yeah. One is basically, one goes in here, one goes in here. Yep. And you basically have one of them is for the inverter, one of them is for the charge controller, because both of them can charge the batteries. Yep. And when the batteries get cold, they'll know it. Mm -hmm. If the batteries get cold, they shift the voltage level. Yep. So instead of charging the 14 volts, they may charge the 16 volts. Okay. Otherwise, it'll appear the battery's full and it'll shut down. So you have to shift your voltage. So this tells them that the batteries are located below it, but the room's colder than you realized. Yep. It's taken care of by these. Okay. And what about these screens here? What we are, have two meters on the front, which are really helpful for statistics and help. Yeah. This is the DC meter. Yeah. It shows you the battery voltage, mm -hmm. and it shows you the solar coming in. Okay. So you get an idea how your day is starting. Mm -hmm. Then you have an AC meter that shows you it shows you your, your 120 and your 220 voltage levels. Mm -hmm. If you're running a heavy load, you can see if they drop a little bit. Yeah. Also, if you're vacuuming, you say, how much am I vacuuming you using? And you yeah. start here, oh, using 1200 watts. Yeah. But so at the end of the weekend, you go and say, well, how much did I use for the weekend? Yeah. Maybe you designed your system with the batteries to give you three kilowatts of usage. You, here it tells you you did four. Yeah. Well, the sun was out most of the weekend, so it gave you a yeah. false sense of security. Yeah. Yeah. You know that I'm really at a point, if it's cloudy weather, I might push my batteries, which is yeah. not good. Okay. I better add two more batteries. Right? So okay. this number tells us to tell you what to add, whether it's panels or batteries to improve wow. your system. Or before, people didn't really know. They're guessing yeah. what they had. Here, they get feedback. Well, this is great. I think uh, this would work really well. As I say, small cabin, RV, schoolies even. This, uh, this is a, just a nice plug and play option for you. Yes. So, all right. Thanks, guys. There'll be more on this on our site coming up soon. Um, and let us know if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks, Pete. Thank you. All right. Take care.